Hey guys, uh, today I'm shooting a video uh, from home. Hope everyone's staying safe. I actually shot a video in Spanish a couple of days ago, shooting with the same uh, camera, the Sony a7R2, and two separate macro lenses. One of them was a vintage uh, analog uh, lens that I had, and uh, then also shooting with the Sony macro lens. So today I'm just gonna go through a little bit of uh, the photo process. I have some jewelry here at home, and uh, let's try to get something, uh, something done. Also, just kind of wanted to show you the setup. That's my assistant right there helping me out. And so basically what I did is just, um, I have this one light and then the other light is coming from the window. And then I'm using the reflector to get as much light up. And I just set up a couple a couple items just to give a little bit of a, of a vibe to the photo. And the first thing I tried was with the Ohm from BBLA but because it was yellow gold, it didn't stand out as much. So then I tried for a uh, white gold piece. So that's it. Let's see what we can do with them on the computer. So now that we have the photos in the computer, we're just gonna go ahead and open them in Lightroom. All right, so now that we have our images, we're just gonna import them into Lightroom and here I'm just gonna go through my normal process what I do to edit my photos and uh, then later on if you have any questions about any of the steps you can uh, let me know in the comments but basically I'm just gonna take a quick look at each image and make sure that everything's in focus and trying to find out which one I like best and so far I feel like I like this one better just because I did add a little bit of a uh, this texture here in the background and you can see the the orange here in the background too um, the first thing we're gonna do is just make sure that we get our crop just right and I'm gonna do five by five by seven and I'm gonna get my um, my crop here just in a sec just gonna try to see what works best here and make sure that this is So that looks about right. I'm just gonna go ahead and crop there. Maybe it's a little, a little heavy. It's a little bit on this side, huh? But I do wanna get this in the background. So let's see what we can do here. Maybe squeeze in a little bit more. And that feels a little too tight. Maybe right around there. Let's give that a try. And all right, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna mess with the temperature of the photo. Make sure that everything's looking as it should. This is sort of like the white balance of it. And as you can see here, the white gold looks pretty white and also the gems look pretty white, so that's good. Um, and then I'm gonna mess a little bit with the tint of the image, which I usually, um, if I don't know if you noticed, but most of my images are usually a little bit on the green side so i'm just gonna pull this a little bit to the green and just just barely and um my exposure looks pretty good pretty decent but i'm gonna bring down the highlights a bit and lift a little bit the shadows and i'm also gonna lift the exposure just a tiny bit i don't want it to be too burnt so that's looking all right um the only thing is that with this type of piece, we have whites, which you don't want to get them high, the highlights too high. But you have this piece, which is uh, pretty dark and it does have a lot of colors. So what we're going to have to do is make sort of like a separate brush and um, just try to lift uh, the colors on the stone itself. So. Let's try to get just the stone. So it looks all right. Let's see what it looks a whole bit. Yeah, that's my dog barking. So 
kind of mess with the exposure a tiny bit more and I feel like that looks pretty good so next thing I'm going to do here is just mess with the curve and here I don't want the highlights to be too high and I want to lift the shadows just a tiny bit and so usually with the S with a trunk tongue curve I try to give it a little bit of an S shape and um, just to I mean it's all gonna be a matter of preference personal preference but this is just sort of what I the, the look that I like going for and maybe Alright, so now that we got these, uh, all this work so far, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it into Photoshop just to do one, uh, a couple last minute uh, tweaks here and there. Okay, so now that we have it in Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to do is bring the sharpness tool and just give it a little bit of sharpness to all the piece. And I'm also going to bring a little bit of brightness to just the... Uh, the stone just to bring a little bit more color there that's looking pretty all right and now I'm gonna go into my adjustments and adjust the exposure a little bit I'm gonna try to bring it up as much as I can without it being too high on the highlights so you gotta find a good medium there and then I try to bring a little bit of offset to the image that's looking good All right, so what do you guys think? I think that's looking good. Still need some work. I might just do the, the curve one last. So then the last thing I'm going to do, well actually let's get the, my logos in there first. So it, this is a BBLA piece so I'm going to get the logo in there. I'm going to place it right over here and I'm actually going to invert the color so it's white and just bring down the fill a bit and I'm also going to bring in my logo. I'm gonna try to put it somewhere that it's not too obnoxious. Okay, so the last step, I'm gonna just merge this, um, or actually just flatten this image so it's all just one layer. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just uh, adjust my color balance. So I'm going to tweak a little bit these mid-tones. Not too drastic. Oh, that's looking nice. Maybe the shadows a bit. And here's just kind of, I mean, we all have our own personal preference. So this is just a matter of tweaking a little bit the, the, the tones and see what works best for your image. Um, anything that's looking good? Perfect, so then I'm just, one very last thing before I export, it's the, these images are actually huge. So I'm just gonna bring it down to 50%. And I'm gonna export it as JPEG. And um, yeah, now I'm just gonna post it on Instagram. And um, if you guys haven't seen my work, uh, you can look it up, Ruben Lou Body Piercing, and I post my piercing work.
there and some jewelry that is me and thank you so much for watching this video on jewelry photography if there's anything else that you want me to um, maybe try to help you out with let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see you next time